Hey guys, we're back with Russell Kane, the football expert, and I'm James, your host. And we just, we're just we just fresh from watching England versus Colombia. It's been so unpredictable, this tournament, right? Spain is out, uh, Argentina's out, you know, Germany's out. So let's get straight into it. So England is going to go up against Sweden. Tell us about this match, this upcoming match. Tell us about your juicy tips, Russell. Come on. Um, for England, Sweden, I'm after watching Sweden versus Switzerland, I'm a bit worried that... Sweden are going to frustrate England in on Saturday. Um, okay. They're they they're just well organised. They're they've got good team ethic. They're just mm -hmm. and Colombia. I think Colombia showed tonight that I don't. Colombia turned it on after they scored the goal, and I think that's going to be Sweden throughout the whole game. Uh, the history of the two teams is very even. The last time they played each other was in 2012. A lot of people are going to remember that from Zlatan's goal, mm -hmm. that overhead kick in Stockholm, where they won 4-2, he scored all four goals. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that had necessarily has any relevance on this game. Obviously, Zlatan's not there. But I do see it being a struggle for England. Um, but I still I still think after, after England won on penalties, that's going to give them a big lift. Yeah. Um, so I see this going... I do see England winning this in 90 minutes. I'm gonna. I am confident of that. The, they, they, in every game they've played so far, other than Belgium, where they put out their second string, they've started off strong. But they need the first goal. They yeah. need an early goal as well. If if it gets to half time and it's it, it, and it's a draw, then I'm worried. But if we can get the first goal early, within the first let's say 20 minutes, then I'm confident. I do think Harry Kane again tonight scored the first goal. So he's the obvious pick for the first goal scorer. He's, he's top goal scorer in the tournament, six goals now. Um, but I do like any time goal scorers, Harry Maguire and John Stones. We're getting a lot of set pieces. They're, uh, Maguire's, Maguire, I think Maguire set up Harry Kane against Tunisia. John Stones got a couple against Panama. I think they're a threat and you'll get better odds for them because they're centre backs. Okay. But I see, I see from corners, we're getting a lot of corners. So if we can make them count, I like Maguire or Stones. Take your pick, I think they're quite even. But. Okay, but you're slightly favouring England. I would say I, I would say England in 90 minutes, but I think it'll be narrow, and I would take a punt okay. on 1-0 England. Okay, Russell, so England 1, Sweden 0. That's what you think. Yeah. All right, so there you go, guys. So let's continue. Forget about England. France versus Uruguay. That's the next hot match coming up. And people want to hear what Russell has to say about this. Tell us. Uh, um, with these two teams, I was impressed with these two teams in their for, in their knockout games. Um, France run riot against Argentina, scored four goals. Mbappe looked quality with his two goals, won the penalty. Um, but I, I was worried to see that Argentina scored three goals as well. France had looked good mm -hmm. defensively until that game. Um, but I do think the worry with Uruguay is Cavani's injury. It doesn't look like he's going to play. And I think that's the edge France have. If, if Cavani, Cavani's two goals, he looked quality. Uh, he's, he looked decent in the other games as well. He's only, he had only scored one goal in the groups, but he still looked decent. He was getting in the right positions, getting a lot of shots. But, uh, yeah, I think he will be a huge miss for Uruguay if he doesn't play, which it looks like he won't. Uh, I like Griezmann, first goal scorer. He scored the first goal uh, against Argentina. He scored mm -hmm. the first goal in their first game against Australia. He's had the most attempts in okay. fr for France, which is 12. Double the next player, Giroud, with six. Um, he's on penalties. He hit the bar as well in the last game from a free kick, so he's on free kicks as well. He's just getting in the right places. Uh, yeah, I like Griezmann. Um, but okay. also but also for this game, I like both teams to score in this game. Uruguay, even without Cavani, you've got Stuani who might come in, plays for Girona, scored 21 La Liga goals. You've got... He might. I'm assuming he'll come in for Cavani, but it might. If it's not him, it's going to be Gomez. Scored. I think he scored 17 goals in La Liga for Celta Vigo. Both are in good league form, okay. but they've not done much at a tournament. So if they come in, they they have got the ability to do something. But um, we need to see that first. But any time goals were on them too, if you can get good odds, yeah, I think that's a decent bet as well. Great, thanks, Russell. So France has a little bit of an edge. Hope you noted that down. Let's move on to Belgium versus Brazil. So tell us, Russell. Um, Brazil, I've been very impressed with. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been very consistent. Won three, three games, 2-0 on the bounce. Haven't conceded a goal and, uh, and, uh, since their first game against Switzerland. Um, so they've had three clean sheets on the bounce as well. Uh, and then there's Belgium, two, went 2-0 down to Japan. Nobody saw that come in. I think there was questions about Belgium coming into this tournament. If they, they had a golden generation, 
can they, have they got too many stars? Can you put all, them all in together? Can they all play together? But I think the Belgium-Japan game showed that they can because their mentality was just beyond anything that game, I thought. When you're 2-0 down and you come back, yeah. impressive. I was very impressive, impressed with that. Uh, with this game, I do like Brazil to win this in normal time again, okay. um, narrowly. I do like both teams to score. They're, they've got Belgium are the top goal scorers with 12 goals. Um, combined, they've got 19 goals. They've had the most shots. I think they've had 77 and 76 shots. So the top two are most shots as well. So we should expect goals here, especially yeah. if if Belgium can turn it on like they did against Japan against a good Brazilian defence, then we've got goals, I think. Um, first goal scorer, like in the last round, Neymar. I'm sticking with Neymar again. He's, Neymar. Had, he's had the most shots in the tournament. He has, he's had the most shots on target in the tournament. He's getting in the right places. He's uh, free kicks, penalties. He's just... You've got to back him. I can't think of anyone for Brazil. But Coutinho's look good. Even Williams look good. But Williams, Williams look good, but is, isn't really getting in the right position for okay. goals. He's more of a creator. He's dribbling past people. Yeah. Um, Show off. But yeah, I like, like I say, I like Brazil, normal time. Both teams to score. Name our first goal scorer. Do you? Okay, guys. So, well, that was backed up by like a lot of evidence. So, I, I trust him at least. Anyway, let's move on. Russia versus Croatia. That's another interesting game. So how, how will that play out? This is, I think this is the hardest one to call of the four games. Ah. Russia have been shocking everybody. Yeah. Uh, and Croatia looked good through the groups. Probably the best looking team through the group stages. Then come a little bit unstuck against Denmark with the one all draw. I am really struggling with this one. The last time these Russell, two, the last time, struggling. the last time, the last time these two played each other was only three years ago, was in Russia and Croatia won 3-1. Oh. So it's like the home of our, I know it's the World Cup. I know they're going to lift their game. Um, but it weren't so long ago and Croatia comfortably beat them 3-1. In that game, Mandusic scored. He also scored against Denmark. So I like him to first goal scorer for this game. I like Mandusic. Mm. Um, uh, and any time goal scorer for this game, I like Modric because he's on penalties. Yes, he missed one, but uh, in extra time against Denmark. But... More often than not, they score. Yeah, everyone uh, misses one. And guys. How many penalty, again, how many penalties have there been at this World Cup? There's been 28, 29 penalties. So yeah. you're looking at, yeah, there's going to be there's going to be penalties in the quarterfinals. Mm. Who's, we, we talked about Neymar, penalties. We talked about Harry Kane, penalties. Now we're talking about Modric, penalties. The, it, more often than not, if you're backing a penalty taker, they're going to probably score. So, yeah, Modric anytime goal scorer. Mandusic first time, Modric anytime, and I'm backing Croatia to take this in normal time, but narrowly, and oh. by one goal. I could be it one nil, two one, wow. but I think it's going to be very close. Okay, so I think Russia are going to give them a run for their money. Okay, great. So there we go. I think we covered everything. Thank you, Russell, for being here again. No worries. My, my man, my man, and thank you, of course, for watching. We will keep releasing these videos until the end, right? We're here till the end. It's getting so exciting. This is this is the meat of the it's world. The best Cup. World Cup ever, James. It's, it's the best World Cup. Is it? It is. Yeah. Other than, other than 1966, but I weren't there. So. Yeah, neither was I. So it doesn't count, right? So this is the best one till date, and probably it's gonna it's gonna keep living up to these expectations. Let's hope so. Let's yeah, hope so. let's hope so. Okay. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.